Hey y'all, it is almost noon. Can you tell by the ingredients over here what we're going to make? Get off of there. Um, that was my timer that I asked to come on a while ago and it didn't and then it did. We're gonna make no bake chocolate peanut butter oatmeal cookies. Or you can call them no gas cookies because they're made with lactate milk. Okay, so it calls for a half a cup of butter, cut up small, and I'm going to put that in my pan right here. And I am going to turn the burner on low, kind of low, medium low, and then it says to put in two cups of white sugar. Move over Martha Stewart. <laughs> and the milk. Half a cup. So you put all that in together and then you start stirring it so your butter can melt. There we go. I want to get all the sugar wet with the milk. And then I believe we put the cocoa in. And this is a quarter cup of Hershey's cocoa. So we're going to dump all that in there. And then you're supposed to stir it until the butter's melted. Can y'all hear me? <laughs> when have you ever not been able to hear me? Okay, so we're supposed to stir this until it's mixed up really good and the butter is all melted. Now this is a crucial point, y'all. They say that once you bring this to a boil, you boil it for 60 seconds. Now, I'm going to watch my clock because I'm not trusting my timer to work correctly while I'm making a video. It is humid, y'all. I'm hot. I need to turn my ceiling fan up. Hazel's due for a big yell here in a minute. She has been disappearing all day. And then I will hear her scream at me. So, um, this is what we're doing, sweetie. Better late than never, right? Okay. All right, I've already got parchment paper on my cookie sheets. Now, with a large cookie scoop, this should make about 32 cookies. So it says, bring the mixture to a rolling boil. Not just a little bubbly, but a rolling boil. And I'll have to turn up my heat a little bit for that. And then once we let it boil, it says make sure to set a timer. Once we let it boil um, for 60 seconds, then you take it off the heat, stir in the peanut butter and the vanilla. That's a half a cup of peanut butter. And the vanilla. And then you add your three cups of quick cooking oats which I like, and I like the old-fashioned oats, and I like the steel-cut oats. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all watch this. Now, I wonder if my light being on, does that help any, y'all? Okay, so my butter is just about, and I'll have to stand over here so I can watch my minute hand. <clears throat> 
Now I'm going to turn this up just a tidge. What the heck is a tidge? Woo! Well, I'll tell you one thing. That tidge was going over the edge of my pan. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see, but it's starting to bubble right there. I guess I just want to make sure that all that sugar is cooked. Okay, y'all come on up to a rolling boil here. Now, I don't, that doesn't look rolling to me. It's starting to, though. I cooked Miss Hazel some chicken last night, and I cut it up in small pieces, and then I cooked it in butter. Yeah, I had to have a little bit. It was pretty good. You know, I wonder, is this the rolling boil? I wish y'all could tell me. I thought it boiled in the center, too. Okay. I'm going to time it for a minute starting now. Said to stir a cage. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Woo. You ever stuck your finger in something like that? Being an idiot thinking you're going to taste it? Well, I wouldn't know. But I was just curious. Okay, we've got about 15 seconds to go. I'm going to turn that down just a little bit because I do not really want to have to clean that off the stove burners. I'd have to put towels down in the bathtub. It'd be awful. Okay, now. All right. Now. I'm taking it off the hot burner. All right, now I'm gonna get my peanut butter and my teaspoon, I guess I better move it that way, my teaspoon of vanilla. All right, and my half a cup of peanut butter. Y'all, this is not on the heat, but it's still bubbling. Okay, now we have to mix this all up until it's incorporated. <laughs> Y'all, I tell you, I... <clears throat> You know I have an addictive, oh, holy mackerel. Okay, let us, because we are not an idiot, put the lid on the vanilla. Okay, now, with a addicted personality, I can get on YouTube and I can watch whatever. DIY, hacks, um, how-tos, uh, cooking, baking, decorating, cake decorating, um, and I get lost. If Miss Hazel didn't have to go to the potty once in a while or you know, need a drink of water or something like that, I could be on my phone, which I forget I can watch it on this big 55-inch television. 
all I have to do is plug it in, turn it on. So, um, we're almost there, you guys. We are almost there. I tell you, I did this thing where I got out my favorite whisk. And um, I got it out because I knew it would mix the peanut butter a lot better. But do you think I was using it? No. I was more concerned about chit-chatting with y'all. This weather has really started to uh, wear on me. And I know y'all know that. Okay, here's my oatmeal. I had to put my oatmeal canister closer to the stove because I eat a lot of oatmeal. Okay, so it says three cups. I hope this pot is going to hold three cups. There's one. You want to make sure you get your oatmeal all blended in and you're not going to have any pockets of dry oatmeal. Okay. Then we're going to have the second cup. Yeah, it'll all fit in here. I thought a while back about getting a um, you know, a five-quart um, Dutch oven. And then I thought, I'm getting much more thoughtful lately, y'all, and um, trying to economize. And I thought, now, how much would I use that? It's not winter time, so I wouldn't be using it for soup. Okay, three cups. And this is our last one. And um, then we're going to scoop it out on some parchment paper. These are so easy, y'all. And I, I like to compare recipes. I'm always, if I look up a recipe, I'll look up two or three for the same thing and see how they vary. And so these really don't vary. I mean, they all say, Measure out your ingredients. Boil for 60 seconds. Use a timer. Okay, y'all. I think I don't see a dry piece of oatmeal in there. Oh, my gosh. These are going to be so good. What if I could make one giant cookie? Nah, I better not. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to get a trivet to put my um, pot on. In fact, I'm going to use two. I'm always so uh, worried about my countertops. You know, I don't want any anything bad to happen. Okay, y'all come here. Two trivets. My pot. Now, I've got my big cookie scoop. So we're just going to start scooping. Now, you can just leave these on the countertop, but of course, when my kids were little, I always had to bake when they were at school or taking a nap, because they wanted to be right in the middle eating it all. It's kind of funny. You know, they put those things on the... Now, they tell you all the time, don't eat raw cookie dough, blah, 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 and... Um, I should have put these all on this big pan over here. I think they would have fit. But anyway, you know, most of us, we've been doing that our whole lives. I still do it. 
in fact, <laughs> okay, if I drop dead and nothing's going on with my channel, uh, you'll know it. And um, the reason I'm saying that is not only do I, you know, eat some cookie dough, you know I've been making cookies ahead of time now and um, freezing them in little balls in Ziploc baggies. It's awesome. I love it. You want some cookies? Take them out of the freezer, plop them on a pan, stick them in the oven. Um, but I have, I know, I have taken one of those cookie balls out of the freezer and eating it like it's a popsicle. So good. I wonder why, you know, they never did that before. Why did they start all of a sudden? These sure are a messy looking gloppy bunch of cookies right here. But you know what? They're supposed to be. It says right on the recipe. These need to be lopsided and gloppy. Now, y'all, I'm going to tell you, there's not enough cookie dough right there <laughs> to make a whole cookie. Ooh. Dadgummit. Next time, I'm going to put a few walnuts in these. I am. I love walnut. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, see, there's nothing wrong with this. Because I made a big mess. Oh, not on my trivet. Um. What was I talking about? Good Lord have mercy. Oh, these aren't dangerous because they have no egg. Now I've been reading. The other reason not to eat raw cookie dough is that a lot of times flour has something wrong with it. I don't know what. You fly by here again, I'm going to kill you. And um, I lost my train of thought again. Well, I don't know. Oh, flour. And it says that if you want to fix your flour, if you think it's, you know, got stuff in it, you spread it out on a cookie sheet and you bake it at like 250 for 10 minutes or something like that. I don't know. Are you cooking bugs in there? Ugh, I hope not. So, anyway, y'all, this is what they look like. Let me not drop this like I almost did lay on a cake. So this is what they look like. And in about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, these should be ready. But, um, you know, I don't always wait. So anyway, sweetie, that's how you make these cookies. Um... If you want to, you can use the back of your thing and you can kind of smush them out if you want to so they'll be, you know, not tall. You can do that if you want to. It's not going to hurt them at all and they'll probably cook a little, I mean, cool a little faster. So, anyway, I'm the only person I know that can take 19 minutes to make no-bake cookies from start to finish. Do something fun today, and please be safe. Bye now.